Tucker. I'm NBC6 meteorologist Ryan Phillips. The sixth named system of the season became the third hurricane and became yet another hurricane to make landfall in Puerto Rico. That happened Sunday afternoon and now devastating rains on set and poised to stay on the island through the duration of our Sunday through the overnight hours already over 10 inches of rain with more to come here. Landslides continue to be a big concern as well as flooding rains and of course damaging wind gusts as the center of circulation here of Fiona continues to move to the northwest into the Mona Passage without much land interaction. 5 p.m. advisory going this way. Category 1 hurricane winds at 85 miles per hour moving off to the northwest at 9 miles per hour, which is not all that fast. We'd like it to move a little bit quicker to try to get some of this moisture away from the island. It just does not look like that's going to be the case. The impacts overnight will spread into at least portions of the Dominican Republic. But the real question here is, is uh, how far away can we keep the center of circulation from land interaction to allow it to stay uh, in a healthy and robust shape? That's to be determined. But the bottom line is the system slow moving with all that tropical moisture staying in place. Multiple hurricane warnings remain in effect. And of course, as we move through the next few days, the potential still on the table and the likelihood that the season's first major hurricane will take shape, lifting into the western and southwestern Atlantic and then accelerating off to the northeast. Again, high confidence this will not be a concern for the northwestern north central Bahamas here in the days ahead. Pretty tight model cluster that the again forecast track here will take it away from the greater Antilles and keep it across the western Atlantic in the week ahead. In the meantime, though, Hurricane Fiona, as it's in the vicinity of Puerto Rico into Monday, will continue to deliver flooding rains, the concern for landslides, and of course, damaging gusts until we can move this entire tropical plume away from the area. You're up to date. Make sure you stay up to date on through the afternoon, evening, and overnight hours right here on the NBC6 app.